Hello and welcome to Financial Intelligence. In this video, I want to talk about Kathy Wood's decision to sell her Zillow position. Kathy Wood is the founder and CEO of ARK Invest. Due to the market beating returns of the ARK Invest ETFs, Kathy Wood has become a closely followed investment icon. Her flagship ARK Innovation Fund has returned an average of nearly 40% annually over the past five years. After loading up on Zillow, Kathy Wood and her investment team have now liquidated a large portion of their Zillow position. The question is why? I believe that it is very difficult to time the market even for fund managers such as Kathy Wood. However, researching the logic behind Kathy Wood's decision will give us a better understanding of the overall market and factors that we should look out for. Therefore, we should take the results of this analysis with a grain of salt and we shouldn't follow them blindly. If you like the type of content that I provide, subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Recently, Real estate company Zillow announced that it is closing its home buying unit called Offers. Zillow Offer was the company's iBuyer service that enabled the company to quickly buy up homes for sale and flip them at a profit. It competed with other iBuyer services uh, such as Open Door, OfferPad, and Redfin, among others. Zillow said it was pausing new home purchases due to a backlog in renovations and operational capacity constraints. Some believe that Zillow decided to move away from this business because of rising renovation costs. Others believe that Zillow is walking away because they predict a housing market downturn. Is the housing market slowing down? Kathy Wood interprets the closure of Zillow's home flipping business as a warning signal to the overall housing market. Kathy Wood pointed out during one of ARK Invest webinars in November that, and I quote here, you will notice that Zillow shut down its eye buying. So that could be a bit of a warning on housing. Kathy Wood believes that buyers are bidding the home prices higher. There is just too much money floating around and investors are competing for higher returns. Kathy Wood stated that there is so much speculation because of private equity funds just plowing money into real estate. Therefore, she sees this phenomena as the main reason why the eye-buying race to buy homes and then renovate them and flip them came to a bit of a screeching halt for Zillow. Kathy Wood also mentioned that she is paying close attention to Ivy Zellman's call on the housing market. Zellman is known for calling the top of the housing market before the financial crisis and she's a widely followed analyst on the sector. Ivy Zellman pointed out in her October update that the housing market is already starting to moderate amid a rise in bond yields. While Goldman Sachs sees home prices rising another 16% in 2022, Zellman takes the contrarian view. She believes that there is overbuilding in the single and multifamily home sector. She postulates that the excess demand is generated not by new home buyers, but by dual ownership and institutional capital. And she sees this as a sign of danger for the market. Zillow CEO on the subject. Zillow got involved in the iBuying business counting on their AI slash ML engineering capabilities to build profitable predictive models. They were hoping to leverage their large data that they have collected over the years to inform their purchasing predictions. However, as anybody who has tried to build predictive models would admit, creating accurate forecasting models is easier said than done. This is particularly true when it comes to predicting the behavior of a complex system such as the housing market. Zillow CEO Rich Barton admitted that 
they could not master developing an algorithm and acquisition process that could reliably predict the trajectory of the nation's housing market. He mentioned in one of their news releases that we have determined that the unpredictability in forecasting home prices far exceeds what we anticipated. He continued, continuing to scale Zillow offers would result in too much earnings and balance sheet volatility. While the big price swings up were welcome, the swings down would expose Zillow to too much risk, according to Zillow's chief financial officer. He pointed out that Zillow's aim was to become a market maker and not a market risk taker. The market expects rate hikes. Fed funds futures are financial contracts that represent the market opinion of where the official federal funds rate will be at a certain time in the future. At the time of recording this video, the Fed funds market showed a more than 94% chance of a rate hike by November 2022. This means that the market participants collectively believe that eventually the US government is going to be forced to increase interest rates to combat hyperinflation. Interest rate hikes have significant implications for the housing market. When the Federal Reserve hikes interest rates to cool down the economy, fewer buyers are going to be motivated to apply for loans to purchase houses. Therefore, interest rate hikes will lead to a decline in real estate asset prices. This could be another reason why Zillow has decided to shut down its iBuying business. I hope that you liked this video. If you have any recommendation or suggestion, Add them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you and take care.